So I ain't gonna lie, when I was a kid, I was collecting them Beyblades like Infinity Stones. That also would have been scared as hell seeing my elite lineup. I remember I had a Nintendo Beyblade game that came with that Cyber Pegasus and I couldn't lose. Went on a 10-0 run that same day, locking Beyblades out the arena. She was beautiful. I almost got my ass beat for sneaking Beyblades to school in my backpack even though I was grounded. But we're not gonna talk about that. But anywho! You know when your mom grounds you, you can't even get a whiff for fun. I had to eat sleep for supper that might as well be classed as torture. But I've been seeing some clips from the Beyblade anime and bro, what is it even about? Has me wondering if I even watched the show. First off, we got this absolute demon-possessed child. Bro's got that white hair with the jacket and his arms aren't even in the sleeves. Some of y'all will literally die just to have this type of drip. People used to be boxing in school bathrooms just for a supreme tea. It was a white shirt with a red box. Y'all got scammed! But he sees a tiger come out from behind the bush and he's not running away. Like I said, he's possessed. Any normal person would see that tiger and start running and screaming. Look, this kid in the background gets it. He immediately climbs up a tree. So he starts walking up to the tiger and the kid in the back is like, and bro's not trying to hear any of that. So he unleashes his conqueror's hockey like this is one piece. The tiger had to use its animal instinct to see the black forces and feel the presence of this evil child and saw that he was scurrying up with the equivalent of black freezer with the Tims and the do-rag. His hockey was so powerful that it scares the tiger away. Even had Kenta in the back like, Hey bro, did you shower today? It seemed like the tiger was appalled by your stench. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, but for real though, I thought this show was about Beyblades. How was bro standing there scaring away a tiger? Bro was simply just an S-tier menace. Speaking of which, who let bro cook? This dude posted his anime villain tier list and this man already put Sasori over Madara, Goku Black, and Boo. I'm sorry. Since when does a nigga with puppet powers get put over actual main villains? Do me a favor though, bro, and never do a tier list ever again. Anyways, then we got this scene right here. And yes, this is the same kid that was climbing a tree. So they see him running, and this little kid Kenta was trying to get in his bag, trying to have his own training arc. You saw that UI shit that was giving Goku? I don't even need all that. I was up all night on Timu trying to find something to give me a small taste of even a Zenkai boost. Bro was up at 3 a.m. when he suddenly decided to get on his self-improvement type timing. He saw them David Goggins TikToks doing all this because he won a special move of his own. But you would think that he'd be straight after a couple bicep curls and some lap pull downs, right? Because all he has to do is pull a cord. The Beyblade is the one doing all the work, but nah, he was out there with a bandage on his arm and on his face. Bro was clearly doing Avengers level training. They had him doing over 3,000 push-ups, doing the 100 meter dash 100 times, and he was benching 300. 15 pounds bro was a child this show was not serious bro he doing all this just to stand on the sideline and cheer on his beyblade i don't see the need for him to be trained like a marine tanjiro's demon slayer training seemed to be more reasonable than this and he was out there in the freezing cold trying to cut a rock but i ain't gonna lie this is exactly how my son gonna be training the second he comes out the womb we got to have that project in bape by all means he not even gonna be born yet and he gonna already be doing cone drills that little nigga better have 99 pace and a five star weak foot but to make it worse benki was like you weak as shit you can barely bench three plates at the age of five I was doing dumbbell lateral raise with 315 in each arm. Bro was talking hella crazy and he's built like Rod Wave. I'm trying to figure out why the kid asked this dude to train him. I'm looking at Jinka knowing damn well he could have been the trainer. Instead, they've got Rod Wave who can barely run out here making the kids suffer. So Kenta gets up trying to make a point and bro starts getting ragdolled, thrown from left to right. He was getting that Naruto versus Konohamaru treatment. I still don't understand why they even bothered with that matchup. The man who saved the village versus the kid whose grandfather couldn't even spare Naruto some change. If I was Naruto, I would have beat his ass too. The third Hokage is already dead his son is already dead the only one left is the grandson so i'm sorry little one but you're gonna have to cash these hands they had his ass getting beaten 4k on like 10 different screens oh no this next scene is actually crazy when i was younger i used to go to church all the time my parents would wake me up at the crack of dawn and make me wear a button-up shirt and tuck it in my jeans now that i think about it the fit was atrocious i would be in church sitting down and if i made even the slightest sound i was getting smacked in the back of the head so i know the stories in the bible and last time i checked there weren't any beyblades involved so tell me why we got this dude with the glasses trying to change the story you already know when a character fixes his glasses like these oh shit He's supposed to be smart. They had that man Kabuto doing that shit every episode on some. Hmm, I've known since day one. That's just how smart I am. Shut your brain, man. Making me want to break my screen. But this man right here starts explaining the history of Beyblades. The power of Beyblades have been used to change the course of rivers. They're really out here saying, bro, use the Beyblade to part the Red Sea. Then they go on to say that Beyblades are even used to create hurricanes. Next time I watch the news, I'm going to keep that shit in mind. I'm going to be in science class arguing with the teacher, telling him to go back to school to get a new degree because the weather is only affected by Beyblades, nothing else. And I'm watching this knowing them damn power scalers are about to have a field day with this one. Everyone in the Beyblade universe is at least fucking planetary. The new debate gonna be whether or not Pegasus can beat Gojo. I know them power scalers were bored anyways. I saw a dude dressed as an admiral from One Piece saying that Kaido could beat Goku. Kaido would, this is gonna be a crazy one. Would give 
Goku will run for his money. Bro was locked in his house for so long watching them 3000 episodes he lost any common sense he used to have. Anyways, the anime even said a Beyblade was used to take out John F. Kennedy and they made sure to give us proof that people really be using Beyblades instead of bullets because we see someone literally upgrading his Beyblade launcher equipping it with that Hall of Fame chase down. Bro was standing on top of a skyscraper ready to use his Beyblade as a sniper rifle. He thinks he's the American sniper. Someone called Bradley Cooper. Craziest part is they're like 15 years old doing all this shit. Why does he need to snipe him in the first place? But he tries to shoot Kyoya with his Beyblade and when that doesn't work he decides to try it again he's got that gambling mentality they would look at you and be like 99 percent of people give up before they win and then turn their head trying to get that off guard ig pick like okay buddy you just bet your kids on red it's time to stop he takes another shot and sends his baby to a vent and it turns out all this is because he wants to challenge him to a fight let alone bro it's not that serious he ain't even do anything to you he's minding his business this is like when someone tries to bully you in school bro i just transferred here yesterday i don't know you gang got him up on that skyscraper talking about some that fool there's no way he's not accepting my challenge after I spent all my bands to equip my launcher. And before he gets the chance to shoot again, Kyoyo sends his Beyblade and takes off a piece of his hair. Now I know that bro's pissed. He just spent all his money and now his hair is all messed up after he just got a fresh fade. Bro's not going to be able to look himself in a mirror, but he proceeds to get held hostage by a Beyblade. And I'm like, bro, this anime is more random than Baki. And they've got niggas over there doing some heinous things. Which brings us to this next scene that I think might be the craziest one yet. It starts off with that demon child held up in a pod like he Vegeta. And I ain't gonna lie, don't let him out anytime soon. We all saw what happened right after Vegeta got healed. Bro went to Namek and wreaked havoc. None of those fathers stood a chance. Had me wanting to be Vegeta when I was younger. Not no more though, bro's forehead is terrifying. Not too long after, the main group decides to show up. And they're outside the building getting ready to break in. No plan whatsoever. They're just like... Yeah, whatever. We just gonna run in and hope for the best. When has that ever worked? And you, Kenta, you did all that training. I can't just break through the wall like the Hulk. Bro is 11 benching three plates. I would have threw his ass at the building. But these fools get stopped because the building starts shooting Beyblades. And once again, I thought this show was about some Beyblade tournaments. How we get to this? And then I turned my head for three seconds and they even got helicopters dropping Beyblades on them. All this for a group of teens trying to enter a building for El Drago. And by the way, they had an episode where that demon child was surrounded by five people who were equipped with Beyblades and that laser sight. Anything goes when it comes to this show. They're about to start dropping Beyblade nukes and cutting the moon in half with a Beyblade at this point. They saw that he was out there dressed the same as that dude in the TikTok and decided to rid the world of such nonsense. So they surrounded him in a 1v5 and he proceeds to throw his Beyblade with his hand. And right now I'm starting to realize that bro might be the strongest person in the verse because he was intimidating tigers. They had him held up in a pod. At one point he was even in space talking about controlling the powers of the cosmos and his Beyblade El Drago was one of the only Beyblades to spin in a different direction. Niggas would pull that shit out in the middle of class and the people who only had a storm pegasus would be shaking. Boo! The creators were doing everything they possibly could to make sure we know he was built different from the rest because even though he was in the middle of a 1v5 and he only used his hand to spin the Beyblade, he still managed to win. See my star shine like a diamond. Give me more sun on diamond.